My parents t- took me to a lot of art movies that a 10-year-old wasn't supposed to. You know, I saw Bergman and Fellini and films like that. But I did see Rosemary's Baby at an early age. And Polanski, I think, is very imprinted on my consciousness as a filmmaker. One of the things I really love about horror and the, the nightmares that it touches on are the idea of, of security and a stable, normal place that turns out to be a place of danger or a person who seems to be a friendly person. And of course, one of the greatest things in Rosemary's Baby is the neighbors. And the, um, the, the and what's great is that those, com- those performances, which are basically comic performances, you know, have the chocolate mouse, you know. Um, and th- they're comic performances that, that, that are very well pitched that then turn into being very frightening. And, and the, the most kind of humorous people are the most dangerous in that film. And when I saw Rosemary's Baby when I was very young, I don't think I thought, oh, this is female consciousness. But obviously there aren't that many movies from within a young woman's point of view within her perspective where she's trying to figure out where the danger is or who you can trust, which in a way is what all people are trying to do (laughs) and young people growing up, you know, who can I trust or, you know, where am I in the world? So her her uncertainty, the instability of her um, position, you know, really affected me. And obviously we know Polanski's guilty and of all these things in his personal life, but as a filmmaker... He's incredibly sympathetic to the female point of view. And the relationship between Rosemary and her husband is fantastic. And the idea of this egocentric uh, guy who will do anything and sacrifice her for his ambition. You know, in a way, it's like girls watch out for young actors like this, you know. Um, And he's totally, it's totally sympathetic to her and seeing how she's being exploited. And then also, this is another thing that I think young women would, really can relate to in Rosemary's Baby. No one believes her. No one takes her seriously. You know, of course they believe the husband or they believe, you know, the the doctors or they, you know, they believe other authority figures, but no one is listening to her. So her opinion is is completely invalid. The story is that he shot that almost entirely on one lens. I love the way he used wide angle lenses. And in fact, when I met with Andre Sekula about American Psycho, I said, well, there's two people, it's Polanski and Kubrick. And he said, well, I'm Polish, so I I naturally shoot like this, you know. In Rosemary's Baby, it's very wide angles and placing her within a setting, with the apartment's kind of a character too. It also isolates her within this space and the apartment itself becomes increasingly sinister. I didn't see Repulsion until I was grown up and I've seen it, you know, several times since. And now it seems to be one of the most prophetic films because it is about sexual abuse and it is about the um, madness triggered. You know, at the very end, you see a a photo of her and you realize that this is all coming from obviously a traumatic childhood of abuse and that the anger that she has and the desire to act out, I felt like that's a very, a film very much ahead of its time that, you know, uh, victims can become killers. And that's something that, um, I was just done Alias Grace about a girl who's abused, who may or may not be a murderer. But it's important to remember that that victims can can be can turn. <laughs> a lot of the time, maybe um, in the male view of of women in cinema, is 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 women as victims staying victims. But there is a whole category of films in horror of women turning, and and it's that's a kind of an important message to send. Like, don't think you can just abuse people safely.